Hey guys, it is Bucky and welcome back to another Objective C tutorial. I know it's been a while, but I made this sweet forum and I've been spending most of my time on there, aka about 20 hours a day. So, you know, I decided to take a break from it for a little bit, even though I'm addicted to it now. And uh, I thought it was time for another awesome Objective C tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys about one of the biggest features not only with Objective C but with any object oriented programming language and that is inheritance. Now inheritance is the first step from learning about regular boring program languages to object oriented program languages. I know you guys are excited so uh, let's get started. As you can see we deleted everything from the old tutorial except you know all this necessary crap that we gotta type in but for now what I want you to do is forget all this is here. I would delete it, but uh, then I'd have to type it in again. And anyways, just pay attention to this. What I'm gonna teach you guys is inheritance works pretty much exactly like inheritance works in your family. So say you have a grandma, and then she has a baby, it's your mom, and then she has a kid, and that's me. Now, uh, I probably should have done this with guys, that would have been easier, but anyways, whenever you have a baby, that baby inherits everything from you. And don't be like, yeah, but it inherits half the stuff from the dad. You know, for the sake of this tutorial, these babies are going to inherit everything from the parents. And what they in inherit is their talents, um, their um, attributes, so for example, my grandma had my mom. She inherited her name, and this would be like um, a variable. Your name, she inherited the fact that she's white. That's another variable. And she also inherited the ability to do things like make bread, mow the lawn. This would be methods. So everything that my grandma could do, my mom can do since she inherited everything from my grandma. Now when mom had a baby, me, I inherited this stuff as well so I'm white my last name is Roberts I know how to make bread and mow the lawn this is automatically built into me so this is how it works any time you have a child they inherit everything from you and I know this isn't exactly how it works in uh, the real world but it's how it works in computer programming land so what kind of things would this mean in computer programming? For example, if you have this main class, that's a class of everything else, we'll name this class A. Um, these class would have a certain type of variables, then whenever you made another class, class B, and you inherited from class A, without even have to create, initialize any variables, they would automatically be inherited from class A. So let me give you guys an example, and usually my examples um, are easier to understand than the programming itself, but I'm going to make this program so awesome, it's going to be really easy to understand. So let's say for the sake of this tutorial that I never had a grandma, and my grandma was actually named NS Object. Now if you're saying, alright Bucky, this is confusing already, well you know in the programs before we did these weird methods to print out stuff and they were called like NS log and we already had I mean we never programmed this method called NS log but for some reason we were able to use it that's because we inherited it already so go for example um, let's go ahead and build an interface interface my mom's name is Leslie thank you for letting me use your name for sake of this tutorial and the class you want to inherit from, what you do is you put a colon and you put ns object. Now ns object is a class that's built in to uh, Objective-C as soon as you start programming. Um, that's one of the beauties about uh, this language. It already gives you a bunch of default um, methods to do. So ns object is a class that has the method most frequently used ns log, which pretty much means we're allowed to print stuff out to the screen. So now, since Leslie inherited from NS object, she now has the method NS log. So let's give her another uh, attribute of herself. So let's give Leslie, my mom, a variable called int a. 
So now, not only does Leslie have all the um, methods and variables from NS object, which is like my grandma or her mom, it also has this new variable A. What it means, it doesn't matter. So now she has a bunch of variables that and methods that she inherited and also some cool stuff of her own. So, and by the way, I'm just going to put everything in one big file for um, the sake of this tutorial. It'll make it easier to see. So now she has a variable. Might as well give her one uh, method too. Let's say void and just name it meth. So my mom does meth. Yeah, go ahead. Laugh it up. Laugh it up, guys. So at end. So here's what's going on so far. Actually, let me just build the implementation. There we go. Implementation of Leslie. Void and let's see what is this meth method gonna do? There we go. I've been typing on a Windows keyboard all day and now I have this little pad with numbers on it and when I switch over to Mac it takes me a little while to get warmed up but um anyways. So we'll make this really simple for you guys. What's this? Where did this come from? Oh that's automatically popped up. Embarrassing. So now we have the beginning of this Leslie class with the interface, which pretty much says she has one variable and one method. In the implementation, all it does is take that variable and set it to 50. So now we learn our first little bit of inheritance, that we have this class named Leslie, and it inherits everything from my grandma NS object, which is her mom, and it also has a couple stuff of her own. And Actually, I'm going to save uh, me for the next tutorial. What's going to happen is now I'm going to build my own class and I'm going to inherit from my mom, which is going to give me not only her variables and methods, but NS objects variables and methods too. So I know you guys don't understand what's going on um, yet, but in the next tutorial, trust me, it's going to make a whole bunch of sense. And by the end of the next two tutorials, you are going to be an inheritance expert. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and please check out the next tutorial. And by the way, if you haven't been to my forum yet, if you have any questions for me, ask me on my forum. I never check my inbox, but I'm on my forum all the time. So uh, I'll put a link below. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.